Hey guys, what's going on? It is your boy B back with you once again for another edition of The Price is Right right here at MVG Productions. Glad you could join us here once again. Well, we have here, and we've got, of course, we've got our cast, our cast of um, thousands with us today, in this case. We've got Neil, Brandon, Justin, Ray, James, Cedric, Davion, Aaron, Lo and Lawrence with us. What's going on, guys? Hey, hey guys. Good, sir. How are you? Uh, they're all here. They're wanting to play some pricing games and, of course, those fabulous showcases. As we are about to play another round of The Price is Right on this special tribute episode, I guess, since Veterans Day is coming up on Thursday, where we decided to dedicate this one to the armed forces helping protect our country here and abroad and around the world. We thank you for your service. Thank you for everything you're doing, including one of our own, Mr. Cedric Weatherspoon, a member of the National Guard. So a round of applause for him. Yay! 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 Thank you for your service, sir. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. All right. And is everybody ready to go? That's I was born ready. Let's do this. I figured as much. So, without further ado, at least I think, we'll see. Yep. But anyway, let's get right to it. Let us play Some Price is Right. And as for today's games, they're all going to be random. We have no idea what's going on, but... They're all going to be good ones, so let's jump in. Let's have some fun. Here it comes from the Bob Barker Studios at CBS City Hollywood, television's most exciting hour of fantastic prizes as we celebrate... The tribute to the troops here on Veterans Day edition of The Price is Right. And let's see who's up first. We have... Neil, come on down. Yeah. Woo! And Lawrence, come on down. Hey. And Cedric, come on down. Ooh. And finally, Justin Ray, come on down. Uh. And you guys are going to be the first four contestants on the special Veterans Day edition of The Price. Is right. Hey. All right, let's get right started and get started with our first item up for bids. It is a Direct TV Satellite Ghost System. Take your TV on the go with you with this Direct TV Sat Go satellite system. Neil, we start with you. All right, I'm gonna say um, 1450. 1450. Lawrence. 1299. 1299. Cedric. Hmm, Direct TV Sat Go satellite system. Uh, 1500. 1500. And Justin. I hate to do this to a veteran, but 1501. Oh, we have there already making friends Red. this episode. Actual retail price, 2564 <laughs> Justin. Ooh, that's a painful right there. Let Alyssa go. Oh, okay. Enjoy your filthy salad. <laughs> well, <laughs> Justin's going to get to watch TV on the go, and we're also going to get a chance to watch him win this. As we're playing some mystery price for a trip to Atlantic City. Ooh. Oh, I've never yeah. been up there. Yeah, you and a guest will fly round trip coach from Los Angeles to beautiful Atlantic City, New Jersey for a four night stay in a luxury hotel, including free trips to the casinos along the boardwalk. And this trip 
uh, Atlantic City, we're fourth, just over four thousand seven hundred dollars, sir. So, a chance to win it all by playing a little mystery price here is one of the old school games here from the prices, right? Um, the prize that we're trying to get enough money to earn in the bank for today is the Ashley Casa Moneta China cabinet. So that that's uh, that's our main target we're going for. We're also going to try to earn money from some of these small prizes here. Now, the way this works is you're going to tell me the right prices of these four prizes as close as you can without going over. If you do, we put that money in the bank. At the end of the four prizes, if you have enough money to cover the cost of the China cabinet, not only will you win the China cabinet, but you're off to Atlantic City, okay? So keep that in mind as we begin with our first item here, which is a Cronton Gentleman's Gold Watch. Audience, speak up. How much do you think that was? This one is a really tough one. I got. Um. I gave it one hundred. Yeah, one hundred. Three fifty. One hundred. <laughs> I say at least one hundred. Now, the only thing I can tell you about this particular game, the closer you are to the actual retail price, the better off you're going to be in the long run. True. $517. I said, ooh. Ooh. Wow. I mean, if they're that expensive. Now, now Croton, I know, can be an expensive one. I'll go two hundred dollars. Yeah, reasonable. Okay, you say two hundred dollars for the watch. Let's see. Actual retail price of the watch is six hundred one. So two hundred. Oh, no. Now this one's right. Should have listened, Travis. All right, six. All right, so we have two hundred dollars in the bank. Christ. And now next we have a crock pot. Okay. Okay, seventy bucks. Yeah, is it like fifty? $42. Very specific over there, ain't you? Well, it worked last time, but, you know. True, true. I'll say 45 bucks, just in case it's around what Travis said. All right, we'll go 45 bucks. Right price of the crack butt is... 21, you're over, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, we're all over. You get, no, you, you get no money for the well, crockpot. And we'll again, we'll try on this next one. We have two hammerhead sleds. Enjoy some snow time fun with these hammerhead sleds. How, fitty. how much for those? Yeah, I think. 300. 300. I'm thinking 250. Yeah. I'm just thinking like 300 on this. I give 350. Same. Yeah. Three hundred. Cap three four seven. All right. He says three hundred dollars. What's the right price of those hammerhead sleds? Eight twenty one. All right. No. No, Jesus, get back with a silver spoon up the hoo ha, right, man. Five hundred dollars in the bank now, and now we finally we come to an airplane teapot. It's a teapot that was sort of, with an airplane, nice airplane design on it. How much for the teapot? Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty. I'm thinking. Twenty-four. I'm thinking thirty dollars. Twenty-five. Right in the middle of what I've heard. Twenty-five dollars. Let's see. Price is eighty-eight bucks. Hey, you put the twenty-five wow. in the bank. And now here's hoping that this is a very cheap china cabinet, sir. What's the mystery price today? I highly doubt it. Thousand twenty nine dollars. Yeah, not happening. This would kill the. Oh, I'm sorry, but you get a chance to spin the big wheel here in just a minute. Right now, we shall return to the audience and say that our next contestant up is going to be James Doe. Come on down. Uh -huh. Green for James. James, welcome to the show. You're going to be bidding first on this. It's a Samic Evian electric guitar. 
A thousand dollars, please. A thousand dollars is what he says there. Neil, what about you? I'm gonna say uh, six fifty. Six five zero. Oh. All right, Lawrence. Six seventy five. Six seven five. And Cedric. Real close. Seven hundred. Just just the off chance. Seven hundred dollars. Thirteen forty seven. Well, the actual retail price of the electric guitar is eight fifteen. Cedric, come on up here. Mercy. <laughs> Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I thought it was worth eight hundred. <laughs> I think that's how Jimmy's got a thousand. Like, oh, I might not go. All right, welcome to stage, Sarge. Sar Cedric here, a sergeant in the National Guard Armory, up here on our Veterans Day episode, and playing for a brand new car. Oh, oh they're doing the best for this. <laughs> the Toyota Sienna XLE comes with standard features, four front wheel drive, and seating capacity for six. It's the Toyota Sienna. And you can win it by playing old Pathfinder, sir. All Navigate right. your way to the price of this car and you will win it. All right, let's see if my uh, navigation skills are up to par here. Well, let's see mm. what you can do. Uh, first number is going to be either the 5 to your north, the 7 to your south, the 3 to your east, or the 1 to your west. Hmm, yes. Uh, did they say the year of this model of Toyota Sienna, or no? Well, I want to say yeah, yeah. the the, da the database in here is from 2016, because somebody did a small update for it, so. Alright, well, there's, either I'm going north or I'm going east on this one. I'm going to the north, look off the five. Going five, go north, young man, is the five right? No, it is not. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, I've got three chances here to get back in the game. That you do, but tell me the right prices of one of these three items over here. We have a Bluetooth phone speaker, an iPod roll holder, and a digital camera and keychain. Which one do you want to give me the price of? Let's go for the Bluetooth phone speaker. All right. Is it $110 or $134? Excuse me. Uh, anybody out there got a guess? I think it's 110. That's what I think. I think it's 110. I haven't studied it lately, didn't know. So I'm. I. <laughs> I think it's 110 also. Yeah, okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah, you can go with majority, but I'm just going to say, I, if I had to guess, I'd say 134. But I mean, it's 110. I'll go 110. Let's see what happens. All right, 110 for this blue speaker. Is you right? No, it's 134. Oh, wow. Okay, okay. Let's go for the iPod roll holder. Okay, fifty-five dollars or fifty dollars? Fifty bucks. Fifty yeah, bucks, he well, says. Yeah. It is fifty-five dollars. Oh no! <laughs> All right, one last chance to stay in it, Cedric. <laughs> Give me the price of this digital camera and keychain: forty-six dollars or fifty-six dollars. I'd say 46, but I don't know. <laughs> the way this been going, I'm going to say 56. Go with 56. You know what? I swear, this is $46. I'd be mad. 56 bucks. I can't look. This is going to be an epic fail here. $56 to keep him in the game. Is it 56? Please? Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, now i got to go right. call this here. <laughs> you got to do it perfect from here, sir. Next number, three to your east, seven to your south, or the one to your west? Uh, the, the possibilities are endless here. Uh, the way this... $23,000 to go to Sienna? Mm. You know what? I did say it was either a north or east situation. I'm going to go to the east see what happens. 23000 good luck. Is it a three? No. It was the one. All right. It was twenty-seven thousand three hundred two. All right. Well, you'll get a chance to spin the big wheel in just a minute. But for now, James, come on down. You get two chances yeah. on this one. It's all right, your face. This is my Yeah. Just stand between the middle of the yellow and green podiums here, and you're going to be bidding on this. 
an arrow shrine and storage building. You get two bids, James. Make them count. Seven fifty and a thousand dollars. All right, that is two bids. Neil, we come back to you. I'm gonna say five twenty-five. Five two five, and finally Lawrence. Uh, eight hundred. Eight hundred dollars. Let us see. The actual retail price of that storage building is seven oh five. Neil. Oh, oh, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, Four five over. Oh, that hurts. The pain. Neil, hey, welcome it, it, to this. At least it's better than me one up. There you go. Welcome right? to the show, <laughs> Neil. And you're gonna be playing chance. Ah, you're playing a classic game, credit card. Oh, nice. You've got a $4,100 credit limit, Ooh. sir, in our credit card machine here. You have to buy three of these prizes over here. If you can do that and stay within your budget, you're going to walk away with all five of them. Here are your prizes up for grab. We have a quasical pineapple chandelier, a trip to Waikiki Beach in Hawaii for six nights at the park. We have an Interceptor GT go-kart, a set of a set of CL Weymouth his and her luggage, and finally, a set of Royal Dalton Karma dinnerware. You have to buy three of those and stay within forty one hundred dollars. Yeah, t don't pick the trim. Yeah, no, I, I already yeah, wasn't going to pick the trim. Don't worry about that. I am going to go with. I'm going to start with the the dinnerware. Right, yeah, seems like a safe yeah. bet there. How much for the dinnerware? Dinnerware is. Thirteen thirty-four. Okay, leaves you twenty-seven okay. sixty-six left. All right. Um. Hmm. Ooh, what do you think, guys? I think my guess. I, my guess. My guess is don't pick the trip and the go kart. I think go karts are very expensive. Yeah, I would um, say the uh, luggage and the chandelier. Yeah, the chandelier. All right. Chandelier right. and the luggage. I feel good about the luggage, so let's go with the uh, luggage. Luggage is definitely right. white. Luggage it is. His and her luggage. How much for that? Eighteen thirty-two, oh. which leaves you nine thirty-four left. Pick the chandelier. Pick yeah, the I'm, chandelier. I'm definitely going, to, going with the chandelier, Brandon. No doubt about it. All right. As long as that chandelier is less than nine hundred thirty-four dollars, you are a winner, sir. Actual retail price of the chandelier. He's a winner. He's a winner. Damn, he's a winner. He's a winner. He's a winner. You got 15 bucks of cash left over, sir. Well done. <laughs> Enjoy all those prizes. They're over, just over $11,000. And now, time to go spin the big wheel because it's time for our first of two showcase showdowns. All right, Cedric, you are up first, sir. Army strong. Army strong. Here we go. Anybody you want to say hi to? I always say I'm a mom, my dad, my family members, and all my brothers out there in the lodge. Y'all do well. Here we go. Get to that. Oh, no. Right, another time. Get to that your time. first spin, you got 45 cents. I got to spin it again. 45 ain't going to cut it. All right. Say when. All right. Take two and spin it. That's a good That's spin. Well, uh, helping out station in Louisiana. 45 cents in your first spin. Looking for anything less oh, than 55 to keep you in. 35 would be good if it gets down here. 35, 35, 35. No. Yeah. You're over. No. I'm sorry, Cedric. You got another chance, though, because you're still sitting in the audience. Justin, over to you. Uh, uh, let's do it. Anybody you want to say hi to? What's up to my mom and what's up to everybody back in Rocky Top? Fantastic. Good to see. And you got 60 cents. You got all around, but you could stay there, but realize that Neil still has to spin. So, your choice. Ah, uh, you know what? No guts, no glory. Let's go for it. Oh. Okay. Ooh, Just tell me when. Very brave. 60 cents. I know it's risky, but. I'm here to have a good time. No matter what happens, this has been cool. Spin that wheel. 
There it goes. Now, if he goes over, Neil, you're automatically in the showcase. We're looking for something 40, less than 40. Boy, here it 40, comes. 40, 40. He's got a man. Oh, over oh. by one, sir. Wow. Just overshot it there. That means, Neil, you're in the showcase, but you get one spin to try to see if you can get that dollar. Mm. Let's spin it. Anybody you want to say hi to? Yeah, I want to say hi to the, the sweetest person I've ever met in the world, Rachel Reynolds. Fantastic. Hi, Rachel, if you ever get to watch this. And is he going to get it? No. Nope. He's uh, going to go to the showcase with a nickel. A nickel. The bare minimum gets him in. Neil's in the showcase. Who will join him? We'll find out in just a little bit right now. Back to contestants row for our next contestant. And it's going to be... Brandon Hinkle, come on now. You're the next contestant on The Price is Right. Don't chirp yourself, sir. I never do. All right, welcome. And here is your next prize up for bids. It's a Lazy Boy Adina Sofa. Enjoy the comfort and luxury in your home with this Adina Sofa from Lazy Boy. Brandon, what do you bid? Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred dollars. Lawrence. Twelve hundred dollars. Lawrence. Wake up, sleepyhead. And Lawrence, are you there? That's going to be Max bid there. And James, you get two bids. Twelve fifty and one dollar, Bob. I think he's done. The first time I've been called Bob in a long time. I'm okay with that. Actual retail price of the sofa, eight ninety seven. James, get on up here. When you discover some of the Oh hi. Again. Welcome in. Alright, James, you got yourself a nice sofa. Would you like something else to go with it? Yes. Look at this. It's a new bow! No! The Gladstrong GT185 speedboat comes with seating for four. Gages, it's from Gladstrong. Oh! I, I, I am so mad at this. And we are playing a check game. Hey, hey, it's my favorite game. Check game. Oh, there you go. Alright, pay no attention to the date on the check there, because that is totally not today's date. But nonetheless. Um, you got to write amount of the check that you want to add to the price of the boat to get it between 25000 and 27500 If you can do that, you are walking out of here with the boat and some cash, sure. So how much you want that check to be? Audience? Yeah. I think it may be around about 4000 $4,000? Are you crazy? Let's see. If, if it's at 25 to 75, I feel like the boat might be in the 18,000. So I would say put it at mm, 7,500. <laughs> Go for an even five thousand dollars. Four thousand five hundred dollars lock it in. Four thousand five hundred dollars is what he's locking in. All right, let's put that check amount there. How much is the price of the boat? Seventeen thousand seven sixty six for a total of twenty two thousand two sixty six. Sorry, you need to you need to pay yourself a little bit more there, James. I'm sorry, but yeah, hey, you're gonna get a chance to play. You get a chance to spin the big wheel in a second, and we're ten thousand would have got you to win. Let's find our next contestant. It's gonna be Cedric Weatherspoon. Come on now. He got a second chance. He got a second chance, and since James is already playing for the wheel, we're gonna give someone else another chance now. An audience. It's gonna be. Don't be Lawrence again. It is Lawrence, yeah. come on now. Alright, Lawrence, two Lawrence, chances to double up here. here. We've been on the Child uh -huh. Crafters Canyon Child's Bed. How much for the bed, Lawrence? Uh five fifty. 
515, alright. Wait, 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 help me! Ah, shoot! Ah, shoot. Oh, my bad, I'm sorry. I thought it would go to Lawrence first. Alright, Brandon. 150. How much? 150. 150, alright. Lawrence. 699. 699, and Cedric, what would your bid been? Uh, I'll bid like 400. 400 dollars. All right, we'll fix it up there. Actual retail price, six ten. That'll get worked out for you. Yeah, Lawrence, you nuts. Yeah, you go up, Cedric. All right, Cedric, with a second chance to get back on stage, and you're playing for this. Hello, car. Okay. The nice. Acura RL. Ooh. Cool. And you can win it oh, playing man. gas money. Oh boy. Okay. Time to get your gas money on, sir. Here. All right. Price. All right. Acura no. All right. Of course, in this version of the game, you simply want to avoid the price that is the actual price of the car. You want to pick the other four price tags, leaving the pink slip for the car last. If you can do that. You will win the car, and you will win ten thousand dollars in cash. Okay. All right. So, with that said, which one of these five price tags do you believe is not the price of the Acura RL? Forty-seven thousand, forty-six thousand, forty-two thousand, forty-one thousand, or forty-four thousand? Ah, uh, jeez, Acura. Oh, I know it's over forty grand, but like, how much? Ah, uh, jeez. Try not to pick the retail. Let's go with forty-seven thousand. Not the price. I'm hoping. All right, starting with thing. It's not that super expensive. Forty-seven thousand one seventy-two. Is that the is that the wrong price of the car? It is. It's worth a thousand dollars. Okay, I was about to cry foul. That was the first pick as a car. Yeah. All right, you can take the thousand dollars in gas money you've got right now and stop, or risk it and go on and pick another tag. What do you want to do? Um, uh, don't know. Uh, should I stop or should I do? Yeah, I'm going for it. It's 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 a special day. Let's go for it. All right, pick again then. Any any suggestions in the audience out there? Uh, uh, I'm kind of leaning towards 44, maybe a faker right here. Like right now, I want to avoid. Like something just tell me, I want to avoid the 42, and like I could like I feel like next choice maybe 44. To say, no, let's go with 44,000 then. All right. Saying that forty four thousand five oh six is not the price of the car, is it? Oh. No, it is. I'm sorry. Should have just went straight down the line. You would have won it all, yeah, sir. Done. All right, we'll see you back at the wheel, though, Cedric. Eesh. And we got time for one more contestant to come on down. I believe. Who's it going to be? Aaron, come on now. And unfortunately, Davion not made a game on stage, but you'll get a nice parting gift as well. For Brandon, Lawrence, and Aaron, the final item up for bid is a wood side-by-side -side refrigerator freezer. One chance to bid. Don't mess it up here. Aaron, we'll start with you. $12.99. $12.99. All right, Brandon. Five hundred. Five hundred dollars. Lawrence, two bids for you. Uh, seven fifty. Okay, that's one. And eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine for the other. And the actual retail price of that refrigerator freezer thirteen twenty five. Aaron, <laughs> oh, man. off by twenty six oh, bucks. You can't even out there, Aaron. In and out of contested throw, just like that. And now, Aaron, a chance for you to see what you can do as you play for this. A new car! Whoa. The Volkswagen GLI. 
stuff with standard features, California mission, and your rent package to play it. And you get to play everyone's favorite cover up. All right, you know how this works, Aaron. We got to cover up each of these numbers because the price of the car is not eighty-seven thousand dollars for a Volkswagen. They're expensive, but they're not that expensive. So cover up with the eight, with the two, or the six, the seven, with the two, four, and one, etc. So on and so forth, all the way down the line. You just tell me the numbers going from left to right, and we'll put them in. We'll see how many you get right. Cover up all, give me all five numbers of the correct price of the car, you win. Simple as that. Uh, first two. Uh, one. Six. Five. All right, 21658 is what he's got. Is he a winner? Nope. Does he have any numbers right? All right, you got the first and last one right. Very good, sir. All right, so that means as long as you keep getting numbers right, you keep continuing on. So let's try it again, starting with that second digit. Number two. Number two. I'm thinking four on this one. That's about two. Try to do one. Every day one. I'll do seven. Three. Uh, let's try three. All right, twenty-two thousand seven thirty-eight. Is he a winner? Yep. Does he have any new numbers? Right. Light them up, please. You got the two. All right, the game continues. Try again, third number. The one. The one. That's not the one. Oh. oh. Two, six. All right, 21,168. 22,168, is he right? He's not. New numbers, light him up. All right, oh. comes down to this, sir. Four. One or four, four. gets you the car. Four. 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 All right, he says four. For the car is the right price, 22148 Give him the car. Yeah. All right, congratulations, Aaron. Enjoy that car. That is yours. And now, time for our second showcase showdown. Look at those totals. Pitiful. All right, here we go. Spin the wrist, the raggedy hand. Let's go. Louisiana, hope you'll stay safe and stay dry. Come on, I'm going to need to give up the relief. Come on, 95 cents, 75, the lovely. 75. Nope, you got 55 again, Cedric. I think you've been here before. Oh, we'll stay. I'm gonna stay this time. All right. 55 will stay. Really James, over to you. I'll spin. I want to move. Anybody you want to say I, hi I like to? I say hi to FEMA. <laughs> <laughs> Is it hi to everybody else that's uh, affected by the hurricane. And. 70 cents puts you in the lead. Oh, but Aaron yeah. still has to spin. Well, so what do you want to do? I, I, I stay. You stay. All right. Cedric, thanks for playing. Aaron, 70 cents is the score you got to beat to get the showcase, sir. Hey, you want to say hi to We're good. There's a 90 for a win. It is 90. Oh, my God. And that'll do it. 90 cents gets it, and you are going on the showcase. Whoever's in last automatically wins in this situation. I, I have never seen such a luck in my life. All right, Neil and Aaron battling out the showcases coming up right now. All right, showcase time. 
Uh, Aaron, you're the top winner. Neil, you're the runner-up. And if you're within $250 of the price of your showcase, you win both showcases. Keep that in mind as we listen to showcase number one. This showcase begins with a Hooker Entertainment Center and Mitsubishi 50-inch projection TV. An all has in Hampton shuffleboard table. A trip to Ada Majores. And how about a trip to Florence? Enjoy the sights and sound of a just great trip to Florence, Tuscany. As you and I guess will fly round trip coach from Los Angeles. And if that wasn't enough, how about a new car? Another Volkswagen. The Volkswagen EOS comes with standard features. Automatic transmission and well that drive. And this can be yours if the price is right. And that's a pretty loaded showcase there to start off with, sir. And I'll go through it again once one more time for you. A Hooker Entertainment Center with Mitsubishi 50 inch projection TV. An old house and Hampton shuffleboard table. A trip to Island Majores. That's round trip coach from Los Angeles to Cape Coon, and then on to Island Majores for a six night stay at the Island Majores Palace. Then you've got a trip to Florence, Tuscany. That's a trip to Buenos Covito, Siena for a six night stay at the Villa Armen in Tuscany. That includes ho horseback riding adventure and a Volkswagen EOS. So that's a lot to take into consideration there. The first question, though, is do you want to bid on the showcase or do you want to pass it to the and wait for showcase number two? You know what? I think I'll pass it. Yeah. I'll pass it. All right, Neil, that is your showcase. What do you bid on it? Oh, man. That is a lot, bid a lot. Stuff to, that's a lot of stuff to take in and consider here. Yeah, hold on uh, a second. I'm going to say... Well, I'm taking a shot in the dark with this. $48,087. $48,087. Is that your final bid? Yes. All right. You are locked in then. All right, Aaron, here comes your showcase. This showcase begins with a kiteboarding package. Followed by the diamond ashtray. And then, how about $4,500 in cash? And if that wasn't expensive enough, how about the Yamaha Baby Grand Piano? And a new boat. Another boat. The Sea 150 Speedster Sport Boat. And if that wasn't enough for you, how about we add a party barge oh. to it as well? You got two boats. The Sun Tracker Party Barge 25 Re Regency Edition. And this showcase will have you sailing on the calm seas. And it can be yours, but only if the price is right. Mm. All right, Aaron. That is a very loaded showcase there as well. Again, the lightweight kiteboarding package, the diamond ashtray, $4,500 in cash, the Yamaha Baby Grand Piano, the Sea Dew Speedster Sport Boat with a 155 horsepower engine and sun pad, and a t Sun Tracker Party Barge. Think it over a minute and tell me what your bid is. $55,000! That's just really a tough one because. Yeah, boats are not easy to price. Even we just realized the other one. So, yeah. yeah um, I, I do the easy bid. One number. Five. I'll put it this way. Uh, and, and, I, and I've said this to people and the folks at home at another time and another Price is Right video pr prior to this. Watch out for that diamond ashtray because that, that one's the tricky one there. Oh, okay. 55, that is a literal ashtray that is made out of diamonds. It's not just oh. diamond shape. It is literally made out of diamonds. Oh. Oh. And I will actually reveal the price of that item 
once this showcase is over with. But not yet. <laughs> hey, um, I'm go forty three thousand three fifty. Forty three thousand three hundred fifty dollars. Is that your final bid? Yeah, final. Big Martin. All right. The bids are in. We'll find out who wins it all in the showcases right after this message from CBS Health Watch. Pfizer says it's found an increased rate of heart problems with patients taking its painkiller Celebrex, a drug that has the same class as Vioxx, which was pulled from the market in September because of safety concerns. More on this story as it develops. For CBS Health Watch, this is Michael Gentry. All right, let's find out who wins it all here on the showcases today. We're going to begin with you, Aaron. You had the two boats and a lot of other good stuff with that. You bid 43350 in your showcase. And, Aaron, the actual retail price of your showcase is 73572 for a difference of oh, Jesus. Wow. 30222 Neil, as long as you come closer than 30222 you're going to win. You bid $48,087 in your showcase. And, Neil, the actual retail price of your showcase is $67,058 for a difference of $18,971. Neil, you are today's winner. That's an expensive showcase. Please. Neil, our big winner of the day, $81,307 in cash and prizes. And Aaron, you should have bid a lot more. Because, again, for the folks at home who have always wondered this, the Diamond Ashtray, when it comes up, if you happen to have this particular version of the game, that Diamond Ashtray is just over $7,000. Wow. Wow. Who pays for that shit? Very rich people that are not us, to say the least. I know, right? Who the hell would ask him? Yeah, anyway, overall in this episode, $111,232 on our tribute to the troops here on this week of Veterans Day. We thank you so much for watching. Thanks to everybody in the audience for playing along with us. And thank you so much for all those out there who continue to support and subscribe here on the channel and if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button down below and ring the bell that way you never miss out on all the funny games going down here at MVG Productions and until the bidding wars begin once again I'm your host Brandon Scruggs and for everybody here thank you so much for watching and remember help control the pet population have your pet spayed or neutered and help control the virus population wear a mask Wash your face, wash your hands, and wash your ass. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.